Hello there, not as fan back again today. We are jumping back in, uh, of course, to the Madden 11 uh, moments live. Uh, sticking with the playoff moments here. This is Packers versus Bears again. Uh, this one is called Barely, and this one gives you control of the Bears in an attempt to make the comeback that never happened. Uh, and of course, you will not get Jay Cutler here at your disposal because uh, he was injured by this point. So you're rolling with Caleb Haney at quarterback and uh, trying to not only fend off the Packers, but the restless Bears fans here that uh, can't believe that Cutler uh, did not come back into this game. So uh, there you go, a short, uh, just about a four-yard pass to uh, Earl Bennett there. And uh, we're looking at second and five now, coming up uh, close to the two-minute warning here in the fourth quarter. So Haney uh, going to roll right here. Looking for someone to throw to, doesn't find it, so he's going to tuck it down and be very close to a first down and indeed, uh, well, they're going to measure here, and the measurement uh, gives the Bears a first down. So um, Haney uses the legs to get himself a new set of downs, and, and he got one play going here before the uh, two-minute warning. It's a handoff to Forte, and he can't quite get around the corner, but he does get fairly, fairly good uh, yardage coming into the two-minute warning. So... Uh, they'll be set up with a second and four as Haney comes over to talk to Lovey Smith here and uh, get to the game plan. So 159 now. We, we've uh, stopped because of the two-minute warning. Bears also have two timeouts and uh, down seven, although here comes the uh, rush and down goes Haney. I believe that's the claymaker there, uh, Clay Matthews, getting him on the blitz. So uh, now i got third and 13 here. And uh, trying to ward off that puts again. Now the pass up to Chester Taylor, and he makes a man miss. And he's got himself a first down. So here you see Haney holding in there about as long as he can, getting the ball to the flat to Chester Taylor. And that's where Chester Taylor's game is the best here, uh, catching those balls out of the backfield. So he makes something happen, gets the Bears another first down. And on we go from there. I believe I had an issue with my uh, recording device uh, here that lost the first down play, but uh, got five yards out of it. So second and five now with a minute 24 left. And Haney finding Greg Olson, the tight end, over the middle, um, getting himself wide open. And Haney spotting him, getting him the ball there, and uh, getting positive yardage down at the uh, Green Bay 12. As you see, uh, Davis is hurt. Uh, Going to tell him to suck it up and come back in. Um, unlike Jay Cutler at this point. So Haney figuring out what to do here with just over a minute remaining. As now that they're down at the 12 here, they, they uh, don't want to give the Packers too much time back uh, if they were to score here. But first things first, they need to score. So uh, Haney under center now with single back uh, being Forte at this point. And he's looking to pass. He's going to roll right again, and he's going to run again. And he's going to... Is he in, folks? I don't know. Let's see. The refs will convene here and talk over what they saw. And uh, Bears fans rejoice. Haney is in the end zone for the touchdown. So that cuts it to 21-20 with the extra point coming up as Haney scrambled a couple times on that drive. So now as we await Robbie Gould for the extra point here to tie the game, uh, looking at the clock, there is 44 seconds left, and that's a lot of time to give Aaron Rodgers and uh, company. So... Uh, would have liked to have left a little less time on there uh, to force uh, overtime uh, for sure here. But uh, the Bears will take the uh, the tie. That's something that never uh, came to came to bear, so to speak, uh, in real life. So uh, there you see Haney uh, doing uh, all he can to uh, get this Bears team back to even. And so uh, it's time. We're going to kick it deep now. Robbie Gould will kick it deep and hoping to keep the Packers um, out of field goal position here before regulation runs out. So 42 seconds left, and McCarthy and Rodgers and company have a chance to move this down and kick a game-winning field goal if they can do it. So Rodgers out of the shotgun. Uh, very first play, first down there. Oh, boy. Erlocker had a chance to just jack up Jackson there, and for some reason he goes with an arm tackle, and he gets away for a first down, so that one kind of hurts. He could have been stopped uh, minimal yardage, about three yards. Erlocker could have just destroyed him, and now you got Jones open here as Tillman somehow loses him, 
And another first down, two first downs in a row for the Packers, and all of a sudden the Bears' defense has an issue on their hands. 29 seconds left. Peppers has got to get in there and get a rush, create some pressure. They're doing an okay job, and they uh, throw a short to Jennings and the run after the catch, and they are just about in field goal range now, folks. This uh, is not voting well for a Bears defense that was uh, hoping to pick up their offense who had uh, gone down and scored for them, and, and now they're just about ready to let them down. 15 seconds here now as the handoff is to Jackson, and he is corralled by Urlacher and a host of Bears. So uh, here comes the, the clock down, 4, 3, 2, and the timeout. So here is uh, a pending chance for Mason Crosby to send them to the Super Bowl. And it is from, uh, well, there is time expires. Is it good? Is it? Oh, just wide right. The Bears dodge a bullet here and will get uh, to an overtime coin flip here. Mason Crosby just misses wide right. Uh, and, the, and the Soldier Field crowd uh, can breathe once again. As you see uh, Haney scramble once again on the, uh, on the drive previous to uh, get us tied, as you'll see another angle of it here. Got outside of Pickett and was able to uh, to run it down to the goal line. And met some opposition there, but uh, barreled forward for the touchdown. And the Bears defense did their best to give that one away there. Um, but they they live on as Mason Crosby misses wide right. So the uh, Bears uh, win the toss, and they will receive, of course. Uh, this is overtime here. They will uh, they'll definitely take it. So. Uh, kicking deep to Johnny Knox, and he's going to come on out of the end zone here and uh, making a, try to make a move around the left, but that's not going to work. He only gets out to about the 20, 21-yard line. So Haney's got some more work to do here. Hopefully he'll uh, lean on Forte and, um, and his uh, receivers here to make some plays. He's going to be passing right away here short to Forte. Forte tries to do the shake and bake, and... Uh, Green Bay defender not buying it here, but he does get himself a first down, as you see, um, as he tried to put the move on. He gets 10 yards, but he stopped right there. Could have been much bigger had he uh, been able to juke him here. As you see, he also had a, uh, had a, a uh, blocker there if he was able to cut inside. But nice tackle, uh, and they'll have to settle for the first down. So first and 10 at the 32, their own 32, and the handoff is to Forte here fighting for uh, which uh, the yardage really isn't there as Clay Matthews makes another stop. And uh, we've got a timeout, maybe uh, possibly an injury timeout here. Not sure who uh, was injured on that play, but I guess we'll probably see a, note in, note in, a notice if it was one of my players. So um, second and ten now, Haney uh, looking to roll left and uh, yeah, nothing there. And he just barely avoids a sack by getting that ball out of his hands. But um, bottom line is it's a third and ten now and got to come up with a play. Here's where you lean on your... Uh, your go-to guys like Greg Olson, for example, again getting himself open. That's a great route for him. He's uh, he's Mr. Steady over the middle there. So we lean on Greg Olson to get open, and sure enough, he does it. So they are now at the 44-yard line as you see Olson's catch once again. A.J. Hawk just a step or two behind Olson on that play, and it burned him. So first and 10 now on the Packers' side of midfield. And the handoff is to Forte once again. Forte barreling forward. That's only four, but it's four more yards towards a game-winning uh, score here. So um, hoping to break a big one, but they'll take what they can get here. Again, looking for an outside run, running off the tackle. And it's Forte, and he gets some blocks this time. And does a little work himself, and he's very close to the first down marker. They're going to come measure this. And uh, the verdict is that it is... They're just short of a first down for the Bears, so they will have a third and inches uh, here from the Green Bay 34, and this will run down to um, what ends up being the two-minute warning of the overtime session. So uh, the Bears get a chance to uh, think about this, what they're going to do on the third and inches play. Will it be run? Will they uh, go play action and try to fool them and uh, go for it all on this play? Uh, they've got some options, but they uh, would very much like to get the first down here. So 
Uh, they're in a passing formation, uh, going to audible now as uh, Haney thinks he's got a better shot of giving it to Forte. Straight ahead, that's a nice tackle, getting in there right away, but does he have the yardage he needs? Yep, this time uh, it is in favor of the Bears. First down, just barely uh, by the uh, nose of the football. So uh, now they got first and 10 at the 33, and uh, things are, are looking up here. Uh, for a Super Bowl berth, so they're going to go out of the shotgun. Um, Mine need to be very careful here not to uh, cause a turnover, so he's gonna, just going to work it short to his uh, short op option forte. Wants the sure thing, wants to move it forward five, six yards. That's exactly what he gets on first down, so second and four now. Um, and once again, looking to pass, Haney uh, has got some time, and he's going to throw, and oh my goodness. Did he just do that? He looked like he had Greg Olson open. He took the home run shot, and Shields jumps in front of it. And that's Haney's third interception on the day. And Lovey's like, what is going on? We had uh, we had this. <laughs> now, you got to remember the new overtime rules. If you, if you kick a field goal, uh, the uh, the other team, you know, we're talking in the playoffs anyway, the, the other team gets a chance to answer. So that was the reasoning for going uh, after the touchdown right off the bat because that will get you the win. But now uh, you've given the Packers the ball, so the defense, which had troubles at the end of regulation, has to uh, come up with big uh, play here, and uh, they stopped first down for only a yard gain, and they're going to have to see what they can do here. Boy, you know, uh, oh, look at this. Briggs jumps in front, and I think if he can manage, that is ball game. Briggs has the pick six to win this for the Bears, so the offense couldn't do it, but the defense comes through. And the Bears, uh, which what they couldn't do in real life was just get into the Super Bowl, do it here, a little bit of revenge. So this has been Not As Fan. Come on back for the uh, Madden 11 Moments Live series.